Let's say you want to process one of these samples using your DAW's audio effects or some third-party plugins. To do this, right-click on a sample slot, navigate to Routing, and then select one of these aux track options. Now, instead of playing through the output of Mega Sampler, the slot will play through the aux track that you sent it to, but a little bit of additional setup is required so that you can hear the sample. The following steps may look a little different depending on the DAW that you're using, but the general process is the same. I'm going to show you how to do this using Ableton and Pro Tools. In Ableton, create an audio track and select Mega Sampler from the Input Type drop-down menu. Then select the aux track that you sent your sample to from the Input Channel drop-down menu. When you change the monitoring mode to In, you'll be able to hear the sample play back through this audio track when you trigger the sample in Mega Sampler. At this point, you can apply whatever processing you like to the track. In Pro Tools, create a stereo aux input. Click on the aux inputs audio input path selector. Navigate to Plugin, Mega Sampler, and select the aux track that you sent your sample to. Now you'll be able to hear the sample playback through this aux input when you trigger the sample in Mega Sampler. With this routing configured, you're free to process the sample however you like. That's it for this tutorial series. You should now have a great understanding of how to work with samples using Mega Sampler. If you want to brush up on one of Mega Sampler's features in the future, click on the Learn tab and look for the appropriate video. More content will get added to this Learn tab over time, so make sure to check back for more tips and tricks. Have fun using Mega Sampler, and thanks for watching.